Hi everybody, welcome back to Just Dream Guide. Okay, so I'm hearing that song. What's that song? If you take your love away from me, I'll go crazy. I'll go insane. That song is just like the whole time I've been getting dressed, you guys. I've been getting ready. Um, so first off, first off, let's see. Turn the music to a nice volume. First off, you guys, I've been dealing with a lot of family stuff, so y'all pardon me for not getting the messages out. However, I've had a lot going on with my family. I've had a lot going on at work. And so, boom, I'm here now. Thank you, thank you, thank you for those of you who checked on me, though. I appreciate y'all so, so much. Because, you know, prayers were definitely needed. But, you know, um, it's just the fact that I just appreciate y'all. I'm hearing right now as iron sharpens iron, okay? So, very much so y'all know that love is mutual. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm hearing that song. Don't leave me, girl. Please stay with me tonight. What song is that? Black Street, Don't Leave Me. Um, I'm just hearing, you know, somebody is just not ready to let go of you guys, okay? It's something about y'all's third eye that you know this. It's something about you knowing that somebody's just not over you. I don't care how much we're in 2024, y'all. Because the feeling that I'm getting is somebody like really, really in pain because they want to be next to you. They want to be with you. They don't want to be tossed in the trash because it, you know, new year. Um, but I'm hearing that this person is very much so working hard on themselves. And I'm hearing that this is loudly divine masculine, but take it how it resonates, you guys. I'm hearing, you know, this could just be the runner in the situation. So divine masculine, divine feminine, Normally, Divine Masculine is the one that runs all the time, you know, um, typically. But let's get some clarity here today. I just wanted to say thank you guys for just being patient with me, okay? I did have to, like, you know, do some self-care and get myself together before I could get you all a message. However, you know how I do. I got to cleanse my energy and everything. I'm hearing it's something about your abundance. Something about being grateful. Something about what you guys see. You're seeing what, what you need to be believing in. So your faith is being tested a lot. I know you're not hearing the song that I'm hearing, but I'm hearing, you know, I'm hearing, don't leave me. Okay, so somebody doesn't want to get left in the past. I'm not one of these other people that are going to say, you know, they did you wrong. Da, 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 da. Because love is forgiveness, y'all. And that voice of forgiveness, that's why I got soft. Thank you, Father. That voice of forgiveness is so soft. It's not loud. It's not, please forgive this person. This person is calling you. They're trying to, you know, change their life. You got to give them room, opportunity. Because the loudest people in the room are going to tell you, it's a watch. This person is doing whatever they want to do. They're doing whatever they want to do towards you. Look, that's not true. I'm hearing somebody is making progress right now, okay? And it's something about abundance. It's something about somebody getting some money or trying to make some money. Generating income right now is what I'm hearing. And then for some reason, my brain just switched to um, gratefulness by Hezekiah Walker because he was like, I could go on and on and on about your works because I'm grateful, grateful, so grateful just to praise you, Lord. So it's something about this person learning patience and learning to just, you know, they're learning things right now, okay? They're learning patience. They're learning how to change their life. They're learning things about, something about purging themselves, okay? Recovery and purging is really important right now, too. Somebody's recovering from something and they're purging their life. They're purging out the people. I mean, I know I just recently did it myself, you know? You go through your phone and you're like, hmm, why, why is this person my friend on Facebook? Why is my friend on, you know, social media? It's a lot of purging going on in your person's life. And I'm feeling like you're purging as well. And this has nothing to do with the new year. This is just the energy right now, okay? I was uh, just about to say 12-12. I've been seeing 12-12 a lot and 11-11. And this is the hangman. This is looking at things from a different perspective, okay? This is all about looking at things clearly. Again, using your third eye, you got to see things clearly. Somebody is really trying to change. And you gotta, well, you don't have to give them space. Because Father always tells me to back up off the advice. I don't want to give you advice. I'm just giving you the knowledge and you do what you want with it. But somebody is really trying to change. You might be seeing 1212 a lot or 1221 a lot. But um, yeah, observations. 
they're really, really looking over their life. They're, they're seeing things from a different perspective now, and they're seeing the changes that you've made, and they're trying to change their life as well. So um, that's the recovery. That's the purge. I'm hearing eating different, uh, not drinking as much. I'm hearing purging as far as taking care of their body, okay? So this person is really, you know, just trying to change. And this is all about change here. The hangman is about observing the change that's taking place, okay? That transformation is happening. But anyways, that's what I have for you guys for the channel messages. Thank you again for your patience. Let's tap into today's energy, you guys. Um, divine masculine, divine feminine, and then we'll get a love message. Thank you so much for your time as usual. Divine masculine, hello. Okay, y'all know how we do it here. Situation, action, outcome. Whew, I'm hearing the longing. You're longing for somebody. You're longing, longing, longing. It's getting harder and harder every day, but you're like handling business. It's something about you handling your business right now, okay? The situation is refusing to see right now, though, okay? Because I'm hearing that you don't want to see what's going on with whatever you're dealing with. You're kind of like just head down, hard work. Head down, hard work. Because I'm really hearing right now, um, a friend of mine has a hat that says, no one cares, work harder. And so you're, you're, you're seeing the progress, but you're also kind of battling with yourself, you know, past versus right now. And you're not really seeing the fact that you have been growing, that you have been developing, that you have been doing better here, okay? Let's see what your action is. Love abounds. That's that Ace of Cups energy, okay? Your action is to simply love. And mainly loving on yourself. Y'all know how that is. You have to love on yourself before anything, okay? That's the greatest, greatest love of all. And then I'm, I'm hearing that 1221, 1212 again. I can't make any of this up, okay? So your action, Divine Masculine, is just to love on yourself a lot more. Forgive yourself for past mistakes. Know that even when you do do better and you fall and you slip and you get back up again, that it's still okay because progress is progress. It's something about you working hard right now, okay? But remember, we fall down, but we get up. Because the saint is just a sinner who fell down, but didn't stay there, got back up. So get back up and love on yourself some. Some more and more and more, okay? Because that's what it takes to change your life. It takes routine. It takes a habit. It takes you changing your habits, okay? The outcome is change your focus. Because you're looking down, you're not looking up. Look at this person looking down, Divine Masculine. You're not looking up. You're not changing your view into your heart, which is love here, okay? It's something about your sadness and your longing right now that you're wanting your person so, so much. But you know that you have some things that you still have to get, get through. You still have some things confirmation excuse me sorry you still have some things and look bottom of the deck is dedicated effort divine masculine keep going keep working on this i promise that it's not going to lead you anywhere that's harmful it's actually leading you into your new lifestyle i'm just hearing somebody just you know that hard working energy plus you know you might have backslid you might have gotten back into an old way an old habit but it's okay keep going dedicated effort is here and then look at this, right underneath that is sadness and isolation. That's that energy that I told you about that I'm feeling that. If you take your love away from me, I'll go crazy. You're feeling like, oh, don't leave me. I'm coming. I'm trying to pick up because it seems as though you've gotten left behind. But keep going, my masculine. Let's get a music card because that's beautiful. This is my uh, twin flame. Uh, music oracle deck okay you guys it's not on sale yet but my twin flame oracle card is okay so we'll be using that today what does divine masculine need to know today regarding his love here can i come over by leah it's something about you wanting to be next to your person and that's why you feel this sadness this loneliness okay divine masculine and she's like to me what's the deal because you're not that far just got my bags and I'm headed to the car. Say yes to no. Oh, and your angel of abundance card came quick because I just wanted to see what's going on with your finances. And you know, I just feel it's picking up. You just don't feel like it's fast enough. You feel like you're getting left behind. It says partnership. Allow helpful, supportive partnerships into your personal life and career. And both parties benefit as a result. 
So this is the love of your life coming in, okay? And it says you are receiving help from heaven and from a person who brings needed skills and resources. So again, um, Divine Masculine, you might just be getting that, that, that push that you need from your person to keep going. Because divine love comes in because of a divine purpose. Remember that two people coming together for a divine purpose. And your partnership, your money is going to increase once this comes in. You just got to keep going. Keep the effort going. Dedicated effort is so important right now, okay? Let's see what you want to tell your divine feminine today, okay? Let's tap into that really quick. Divine masculine, what would you like to tell your divine feminine today? King of Swords, I know I seem distant, but I do love you. And this is all this distant energy, like, please don't leave me. I'm, I'm behind a little bit in life, but I'm coming. Please don't leave me. You feel distant because you are distant, because you're lonely, Divine Masculine. And um, your, your person knows that you love them completely. You just can't see it right now, because you still need to dedicate yourself to yourself right now. So that's what I have for you, Divine Masculine. I hope this information helped and blessed. Let's go to Divine Feminine. Thank you so much. Next. Divine Feminine. Hello. So y'all know how we do it here. Situation, action, outcome. Divine Feminine, what I'm hearing from you is chakras. There's something about your chakras that need to be balanced in order for you to keep the faith to keep going in this partnership. It's like the, the further and further, like the longer and longer the separation is, the more you doubt that your person is even making the effort, that they're even, you know, trying here, okay? Because they haven't reached out, because they don't know what to say, they don't know how to talk to you, they don't know what to say. What's the situation with Divine Feminine here? Refusing to see, y'all got the same situation. Y'all, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, y'all need to keep the faith. Your eyes are down because you're feeling down, but you need to keep your head up and think about this, okay? Your person is making the effort. They're, they're coming in, okay? But you just gotta have that faith. And I know it's getting harder and harder. I'm hearing harder and harder each day. Especially when you feel the energy that I'm feeling from your Divine Masculine, which is don't leave me. I mean, they don't want you to leave. They don't want you to leave them behind at all. What's the action here for Divine Feminine? Giving and receiving. So it's something about you keep keeping up with your efforts in your service okay don't forget that that is so interesting too don't forget that your purpose is to serve the world it's a world contribution somewhere with you and divine masculine so you got to figure out what your niche is and as you give back to the world and the universe so does it come back to you what goes around comes around so you got to pick your head up and remember that sometimes people need a little bit more love, you know what I'm saying, and for the world. Not only do you need the love for yourself, but the, the love of the world. I'm hearing something like a nutritionist. I'm hearing something like dedication to a book, poetry. Uh, somebody needs to hear your voice and what you have to offer. And that's so funny because I'm just like stumbling over my words a little bit because I'm just seeing that it's something that you have within you that the world needs. Okay, Divine Feminine, what's the outcome? What's the outcome here? Heal. Oh my gosh. And I'm hearing share your healing. It's been tough. It's been hard. And that's why Divine Masculine feels left behind because you've been breaking chains right and left. Even on days, I'm hearing hard days. I don't know why I'm hearing that song, Nice for Nothing by Drake, where he's like, you know, hard dog days, you know, hard times. Uh, yeah, work at 8 a.m. Yeah, come on now, because you've been healing throughout all of this, and it's been the hardest thing for you is to heal yourself in love and to find that those healing places and to find your soul family is what I'm hearing for you, Divine Feminine. So you've been healing, and now it's time to give back that healing, that love, and you, you're not seeing that you've been healing because you're like, oh, but I'm still in longing for my person. That's because they don't want to be left behind either. Their energy is still very much so attached to you, okay? Bottom of the deck energy, the hidden energy. Y'all are <laughs> divine masculine and divine feminine right now. And I'm so glad I came on today. Y'all are like this right now today. Like y'all are feeling the same loneliness. Sadness and isolation is your hidden energy. Their hidden energy is dedicated effort. So they're working behind the scenes 
but their outcome is that they're still feeling lonely. No matter how much they pick up a shift at work, no matter what they do, they're still feeling your touch. They don't want you to leave their life. And Divine Feminine, your outcome is that you've been healing and you're sharing to the world that healing that you have, but your, your hidden energy is that you're feeling low-key lonely, okay? Y'all's situation is the same though, Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine has the same situation, refusing to see. And that's important because that means y'all are on the same wavelength. I shuffle these cards behind the scenes before I even get back on camera, you guys. So yeah, let's get a song for Divine Feminine, Father. Let's get a song and an angel of abundance and see what you want to tell your masculine immediately. Don't matter. This is what you're fighting, Divine Feminine. Akon, nobody want to see us together, but it don't matter, no, because I got you. <laughs> you're still fighting for this, whether you like feel like it or not. I feel like, Divine Feminine, you're ready to give up because it's 2024. Nothing's changed. Y'all are still in separation. What's happening here is what you want to say. But that's why your situation is to have the faith. Stop refusing to see that the outcome is love. Oh, thank you, Father. That's beautiful. The outcome is love. Let's get an Angel of Abundance card for you. Um, see what's going on with your finances here for Divine Feminine today. Let's get a financial tap in. Gratitude list. That's why your faith is an increase, okay? Your gratitude, you have to be thankful for every little thing, small, big, whatever. I was thankful this one. I was like, wow, you know, the sun is so beautiful today. I saw a hawk today, and hawks mean that your person is coming back. That's collective energy, okay? You guys, <laughs> it says counting your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you be more centered in your heart instead of fixated on your worries in your mind because that's what you're doing, okay? Okay. It says, what and who are you grateful for right now? Keep focusing on gratitude and you'll discover the amazing generosity of this universe. So you have to make a gratitude list, Divine Feminine, because Father is blessing you whether you know it or not. This is coming in. That healing is already here. All right. What would you like to tell your Divine Masculine? What does Divine Feminine want to tell? Three of Swords. <laughs> I'm learning that separation is preparation for our union. And the Three of Swords is that healing energy, okay? You've been healing throughout this. You're learning that what? Separation is preparation. And that's all your person is doing is catching up. So while you've healed and gotten to a certain place, because remember, healing is a journey. It's not just the outcome of something. Now that you're on your spiritual healing journey and your person is getting on course, don't lose sight of the course, okay? This is beautiful today, okay? Thank you so much for your time. Let's go to the last video for today to get into the love messages, all right? So last video, next video, next message. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, okay? So this is my Twin Flame Oracle deck, okay? It's on sale at the TikTok shop and also on my website, just dreamguide.com. Um, but yes, let's see what's going on with Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine today, all right? I'm just hearing, I got an angel deck here too, so I'm going to end on an angel prayer because y'all are both on the same playing field when it comes to your feelings today, Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Let's see what's going on with the both of you all. Y'all are just feeling this separation so hard. It's something about being separated now. It's like last year you were still kind of being hopeful, Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Y'all were both saying, okay, well, hopefully this comes in now. And Father was like, nah, because... You you still need some more time to heal some of those deep wounds. Some of those scars that you've been picking the scab on the whole time. And Father's like, no, let that alone. And let him solve some of this, these problems, all right? But y'all are optimistic during the separation that y'all are going to come into union, okay? Yeah, because the bottom of the deck is proposal. So y'all are both thinking about this, okay, completely. And I'm hearing it's something about your finances. It's something about angels of abundance and finances today that's making it me feel like you know somebody's just working real hard to get to this point where they can propose even though they might not feel like whatever they can buy you would be enough because you stuck with them even through separation through their hardest times okay divine masculine that's that i'm channeling right now that's them they want to come in and propose but during the separation you know they've been optimistic that you won't leave them again wow father don't leave me girl Please stay with me too If you take your love away from me I'll go 
crazy. Wow. What else, Father? What else does Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine need to know? Okay, yeah. Um, somebody might be wanting to get you pregnant as well as a proposal. They're like, look, I've been wanting this for the longest. Something about having that legacy, that family that they've wanted for a long time. I'm even hearing during y'all's last separation, y'all were probably trying or maybe they were trying to have a kid with you just to solidify that you wouldn't leave their life. <laughs> And that's not them trying to pin a baby on you or anything like that. That's somebody just wanting you to be there in their life, you know, while they get it together. Even though they know that they had to give you the space to do so, they still wanted to solidify that family, okay, is what I'm hearing. So signs and symbols are very important. 1212, I kid y'all not, in 1221, it's very important today. It's something about 1212, 1221, okay, which adds up to six, which is a lot of reflection. 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 is 6. And that's a lot of reflection that y'all are having over this separation, okay? But whatever the case may be, this karmic situation is very much so over because they love you. Look, it's over. Divine Masculine is like, I love you. It's over. Whatever you thought was still happening, they're working on themselves. So this is your clarity and your assurance that you needed today because... They want you to have this. Divine Masculine wants you to truly know that they love you, that whatever you thought was going on is no longer going on, that they're working, they're dedicated to coming into your life again, okay? Um, give me two more, Father, to wrap this up. Give me two more. They have a lot of passion for you, and they might have just been struggling a lot and had to stay away because of addictions as well. And addictions can come in the form of, I always say this, um, you know, it can be cigarettes, it can be alcohol, it can be drugs, it can be uh, gambling, it could be sex magic or whatever, you know, that was happening. This person is getting over this. They are really, really determined to let this type of lifestyle go, okay? Because they really, really, really want you <laughs> trying to be you now. And this isn't the karmic anymore. This is the karmic energy that I'm feeling here. What they're trying to do is they're trying to be in your realm of healing. Remember, I keep saying they're trying to catch up. So Divine Masculine has been working really hard to let go of a lot of habits. And I can't emphasize that enough. They're letting go of a lot of habits that they were very much so used to, okay? Second nature to them that they no longer want to have. Now they're trying to be on the same road and the same path, that healing journey with you. First, they were kind of faking it, you know what I mean? They were trying to be like, okay, well, you know, I am healing, I am getting better. And if you talked to them or did anything around them, then you would see that they were still back in their old ways. But this person that I'm seeing, this, this masculine energy, this collective masculine, they're, they're done with that. Let's get an angel card to wrap this up for today, Father. Angel card says, open your heart, Archangel Shamuel, which is the angel of divine unions and connections. It says, thank you, Shamuel, for removing the barriers around my heart. So again, you've got to have the faith in order to see that this person is healing and that they're getting better. And your person has already said, man, if they leave me, I would understand. But they're removing that barrier that hurt them so. Because, you know, people self-sabotage when they think that you're going to leave them or they think that what's the point? Why would I even change? Because I like, I enjoy what I'm doing. Why would I change? Why would I change it or do anything different? And now they're not acting out of fear. They're reacting because they want to be a better person. And they want to be a better person in union with the person that they're supposed to be with. Okay? And that's very important. So thank you, Archangel Shamuel, for removing the barriers around my heart. Okay? That's what both of you all want to say today. That's what I have for you, Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. For some reason, I'm hearing split the deck. I'm hearing split the deck proving to you. I'm hearing split the deck. Somebody's ashamed. Divine Feminine. You know, and then STD and jealousy. So I'm just going to stop there because we're not going to tap into any karmic energy here. All right. Somebody learned their lesson. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> we'll tap into that tomorrow if, if Father allows it. But somebody learned their lesson when it came to that sexual addiction. So that, that energy, okay? That karmic stuff is over with. So anyways, that's what I have for you guys. If you would like a personal private reading, go to JustStreamGuide.com. Book a personal private reading. My Twin Flame Oracle deck is on sale right now. It's in the TikTok shop, also at JustStreamGuide.com. So make sure y'all check that out as well. 
And last but not least, all right, I will not be doing Zodiac signs today. I'll pick that back up tomorrow. But again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you all, all for understanding, you know, that I had some family stuff to, to sort out on top of, you know, some work stuff to sort through. So I just appreciate y'all. Anybody who checked on me, man, I just appreciate y'all so, so much for y'all, the warm wishes and all the love that y'all send. Sending it right back as usual. And we'll tap back in tomorrow. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your time as usual. Hearts, hearts, hearts. Okay, don't forget to go to my YouTube channel. Like, share, and subscribe. The full video will be available there. All right? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all have a great one. Thank you.